I had a request for Tyson Foods, so let's take a closer look at it. Tyson Foods operates as a food company worldwide. The company is the world's second largest processor and marketer of chicken, beef, and pork. It operates major food brands such as Jimmy Dean, Hillshire Farm, Ballpark, Right Brand, Ales, and State Fair, and they go by the stock ticker TSN. Over the last year, they are up 10.22% actually, and I'm going to get into a bit further on why that probably is. They have a market cap of 31.57 billion and the share price at the time of recording is $85.31. It traded a forward PE ratio of 9.60 and compared to the five-year average PE ratio, which is normally 11.85, it's actually 19% below. And it does have revenue growth, so that's a check as well. And the profit margin is not above 10%, but that doesn't concern me too much because this is a food company and as far as I'm aware, they operate with some lower margins than a lot of other industries. The net income growth is growing though, which is good. And they are doing share buybacks, all by a little bit, but it's down 0.8% over the last five years. The dividend yield is at a pretty healthy 2.11%, so that's a check. And the payout ratio is a very healthy 18.06%, so that is also a check. The dividend growth rate though is really good. It's a 17.21% and the dividend growth history is for the last 10 consecutive years. So the dividend per share is thus increasing and they do also have free cash flow growth over the last five years. Their long-term liabilities are not coverable by five year free cash flow though. It would take them 6.1 years to bring all their long-term liabilities down with all of their free cash flow. The price to the free cash flow is also sitting pretty good below that 15 to 20. In this case, uh, with the growth they are showing, then I'm perfectly fine with it being above the 15 mark. Uh, so this is a perfectly okay. The fair value also seems pretty good. And I'll say the verdict is 12 checks out of 14. Could be 12 and a half maybe because the profit margin below 10% in this case, I, I wouldn't be concerned about that one. I think it's 10% undervalued potentially. Um, there could be a rally because of exogenous factors, which is of course inflation. But if you take a closer look into some of the fundamentals, you would see that the PB ratio could suggest actually that tailwinds could already be priced in. So... It seems like it could be a pretty okay uh, price point to get into the stock if you would like to get into this type of industry. So thank you so much, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content in the future. And I'll be hopefully seeing you in the next video. Bye.